Hello there and welcome to a special edition of ASMR. Now, I'm not going to make any noises or I'm not going to speak any differently than I normally would. I have different tones depending on emotions, but I'm going to go into the psychology of what's taking place with this latest phenomenon. And what you have to understand is the human mind has to have a hobby, it has to have, um, I suppose you could say, stimulation. And it looks for latest fads and trends and does things that it in enjoys. Now it also has a tendency to follow big mass crowds, so it wants to join the big majority group. If lots of people are playing in one swimming pool compared to an empty swimming pool, your natural instinct is to join the group because you will feel safe. This is a psychological process that goes back through the DNA of our natural instincts to survive. So what is this latest fad? What is the purpose of it? Now, we're living in a year 2021 which is very volatile. We've not only just been hit with the COVID, the breakdown of the economic structure and the sort of distractions that that economic structure brings to life, we are also been hit with a very volatile Black Lives Matter movement triggered by the death of George Floyd. And this brings a state of fear and chaos to anybody who is open like which you would quite naturally be to the natural survival of your own evolutionary race, i.e. humans. With ASMR, which has been growing now and getting more popular in the, next, uh, the last couple of years, you see that the human interaction is going to create different new sort of, I would like to say, experiences, new types of um, things that it hasn't tried in the past to fill a void that the current climate can't fill, i.e. significance, unconditional love, a feeling of safety. Now what we are seeing with ASMR, it's becoming very fine-tuned in the way of it's your hearing sense, your listening sense being stimulated by sounds and whispers and noises and different sort of um, textures and sort of different moulds of properties coming together to be recorded of very high quality sound and you are sitting there, I'm presumably that you are you know you have a desire to listen to this because it does something for you now when we go into the desires of um this sort of neurological part of the brain you see that desires can be either a sexual desire for this sound or it can be a peaceful sort of it brings you an inner peace for this sound it will definitely be creating an emotion in you that uh, distracts you from the external world still being the external world it doesn't really distract you um, I'm not saying it's good or bad it's it's for you to decide but on a, a massive whole it's you know the whole of the sort of if we could take a big microscope over the whole of the thousands and millions of people that are doing it, you can see that it's, it's rather sad that a fad comes out, a sort of popular sort of programming comes out and we flock to it and we try it and we say that this is something that I enjoy. And you're just distracting yourself from absolute truth and we have seen this in the last few centuries that 
of humans have been alive with. They've tried this with spirituality, they've tried this with religion, they've tried it with science, they've tried it with basically everything the human mind can think of and create. And we don't seem to really get to the point of what we're really distracting our minds from. It seems that um, you could say it's silence in a sense, but the silence is also out there with the meditation distraction. The um, Your mind seems hell-bent on always doing something to stay functioning as a mind should function. Because I would only believe, and this is my fear that I spoke about in other videos, that the, the only other option that the mind has, if you take away what I see as madness and distractions in the world, like listening to sounds or listening to someone who all of a sudden will just whisper, and this will be something that you can just connect with. And this takes you away from, what does it take you away from? Fear, madness, it takes you away from insanity. And you could say, well, this is a great thing because nobody wants to go insane. But insanity isn't that bad when you realise that everything you do is more <laughs> mad than your mind not needing it. And this will be obviously shown up in the future. You will be able to understand this because education will hopefully get better, our conscious awareness will get better. But at the moment, we have to sit in a mad world where people are, and I'm talking about millions of people, are listening to someone um, literally make a noise down a microphone or a, a, a strange tapping. And you can see that what this is actually doing, it's, a, it's almost like a hypnotic, uh, sort of stim um, stimulation. It's like your mind is focused and when a mind is focused it has taken attention away from something else and with this current state of life the, the worst sort of era that you could ever be born to, you know, to, to wish that you could be born into this humanity period is the most chaotic, the most um, distracted in a sense with the gadgets that we have and the way that we can create this sort of nonsense and, you, and we can sell it to the world and you you go out there and buy it and it's a hypnotic state that just numbs your mind and it's no different to spirituality or religion of the past centuries and it's no different to heroin or alcohol you are becoming addicted to a distraction that distraction, if it does you good, um, you could say that's enough, it does you good, it saves you from some sort of pain. I would argue that any distraction stops you from getting to the full deepest root of pain and that full deepest root of pain is actually where you're going to heal, where you're going to grow, where your egoic mind and your spiritual mind can both finally die and get dissolved and you can finally give back to other people, give back to nature and, and put nature on a higher pedestal than your, your own life for once, which I think is the way to go forward for humanity because I only see destructive distractions in humanity at the moment and this ASMR is certainly one of them. It will stay around for a while and it's kind of, I'm kind of glad that we're going towards senses because if we can break through senses and we can find the secret senses that we don't really understand and that we don't know, this sort of greater consciousness that's just spoken about in a sort of hippie way where it's just love and it's God and it's Christ and I feel great and I am going to project love and ignore any negative stuff because it's if I ignore it, it's not really happening and it's not really part of me and I think if we can get through that bullshit of the last 21st century or the every century we've ever had before this one then I think the future could have one percent glimmer of brightness um, in this whole toxic world that's about now ASMR ASMR very strange 
uh, out of the blue sort of just noise <laughs> and it's uh, again another form of madness and I, I hope I explained it without sounding too mad. <laughs>